welcome to my channel long time anyway today I'm here to talk about to discuss my Michael Kors collection which is a very small collection but just wanted to share them and uh, I have only four bags four Michael Kors bags and all well three of them are from Michael Kors um, premier um, collection yeah the ones um, that were made in Italy all right so here we go as a matter of fact let me start with the first one I got which is the sprung one all right so this um, this is one of Michael Kors premier um, collection and this is very old this bag is about um, Know, maybe 12 years old very old I have I haven't worn this in years but um, lately since I've seen these bags are back I've been wearing it and liking it a lot and it's you know it's a really good color very strong great quality the leather is awesome I don't remember how much I bought it for but this bag has been through it and it's still still pretty good and in great condition so I've been wearing it a lot more lately so this is my first Michael Kors bag and again it's from the Michael Kors premiere and you could see the leather it's like indestructible <laughs> all right so the next bag that I have from Michael's course, and this I bought about um, four years ago maybe. This is another bag from this premier collection, and I hardly ever wear it, even though it's such a pretty bag. It has this 70s vibe about it with these. You can see the gold and this. I'm not even sure how to describe this, but it's not metal, it's plastic, but this part is metal. And it has this adjustable strap. And um, it opens like this, it has a suede interior. And actually, I haven't, I kept <laughs> the stuff in paper that came in, in the bag for all these years. And another thing that I kept in the bag because it's hidden is the tag it's a price tag i've kept it and i did not buy this full price as a matter of fact but this is the I don't know, can't see. this is the original price of this bag and i just keep it inside and it has the care booklet and all and because it's it's inside so I just keep it zipped like this and I just never remove it but yet I've had it for a while and the leather is really nice oh and also it's you could see the gold labeling in there and this little part that the closure goes over and I got this for about one third of the price. Is it one third? Maybe, yeah, about one third of the price when they were on sale. So this, and I, I again, have it four years. Pretty nice bag, and it's very similar to something Coach has now, um, the Coach Tabby bag. It's pretty similar. 26, it's similar to the Tabby 26 bag. And it's in a deep brown okay all right my next bag is this um, Michael Kors bag and this is called the Mia um, the Mia bag I actually had um, the side here you could zip it it had these long links but they were so noisy so loud there was a bunch of them, maybe there were like three each dangling from each side. 
And as a matter of fact, I removed them because even when I kept one, the one dangled and made noise. So I ended up just removing them. But, you know, it's a very nice bag and it's, um, yeah, you could close, zip it around like that, but I prefer to keep it unzipped. And it's very minimal, anything, um, Michael Kors, it just has the Michael Kors written there and it does have, oops, it has this lock opening and it also has the key bell that you could use to lock it and open the bag. And here's the hardware and the bag silver. It has a back pocket and, and Michael Kors still carry Mia. And the leather is really nice. It's calf leather, very durable. I'm using the bag right now. It has three well, a bunch of inside area. Like it has this compartment here. It has zipper, I don't even use this zipper. It has the main compartment there. It has another zipper. And then it also has the front compartment. And this is another bag that I kept. <laughs> I kept the price tag also for, which I didn't buy it for that price. I bought it for a lot less, but um, how long ago I have this? I bought it around the same time I bought that one, so the brown one, so I have this about four years still. And I rarely use it, the, it's kind of heavy, but I'm getting used to it, so carrying a heavier bag, so I'm carrying it around now. Yeah, and I prefer it much better again with that dangling, noisy um, metal at the side. Yeah. Pretty nice bag. Very substantial. So this is another Michael Kors Premier um, bag, shoulder bag. And the other bag that I got from Michael Kors, this was the only bag that I bought full price. And I bought this, I don't know, when they first came out, it was years ago, maybe 2014. I bought this, cause, and I bought this full price. And at the time, I'm, you know, I regretted buying it full price because it went, these went on sale and they were selling them for like 150 and I had gotten, it wasn't too much, I guess, full price. As a matter of fact, I still keep the tags for some of them. <laughs> so let me see how much it is. Oops, there's no price on it. I don't know. I guess Michael Kors, some of the Michael by Michael Kors doesn't come with. Price. Oh yeah, I did have the price inside of it. Nope, that's the shipping. Oh, that doesn't even have price on it. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to find the price. Oh yeah, it was like $358. $358. But anyway, I I love the color. It's real pretty. I haven't used it. I don't use it that much either. Like I rarely use my Michael Forbes bag for some reason. But they're pretty and durable. Now that I'm looking at even this one, let me use it more. Anyway, thanks for watching. And again. These are my Michael Kors bag. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.